What is going on guys, Joe here from Making Athletics and as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about shoes and how shoes play a role when it comes to lifting. So, as you guys know and a lot of you may know from watching this channel, I tend to wear these shoes when I'm doing squats and I'm going to go into what Olympic lifting shoes are in a little bit, but first I want to cover why it's best to wear a flat soled shoe while you're in the gym lifting specific specifically, can't talk. But like I said, I'm going to go into why the flat sole is the most beneficial in terms of kind of bang for your buck while lifting in the gym. Not running, but lifting specifically. Um, I got it that time, specifically. So anyways guys, like I said, the main thing that you want to focus on is finding a shoe that has a flat sole. And okay Joe, why is this so important? Why can't I wear my Nike running shoes while I'm in the gym lifting? And it's not that you can't, but when it comes down to things like I said, like squats, Anything where your foot is planted into the floor, deadlifts, even RDLs, even something like overhead press, those movements you really, really want to focus on finding and making sure you're wearing a flat soled shoe. And if not, you want to make sure you drop down to your socks or go barefoot. And why is this so important? If you're wearing something that is like a Roche, like a Nike Roche, any sort of running shoe, any sort of thing that literally resembles a cushion at the bottom of your foot, Basically what you're doing is standing on something like this. Basically a sponge, a trampoline, mattress, this blue pad, whatever you want to imagine. And imagine if I'm standing on this. This is definitely gonna be a lot less stable than if I'm standing whoop, on the ground right over here and doing squats. So. So what, I'm, so what is my point here? If you're standing on something like this, or in your case, standing on your cushion tennis shoe, or Roche Run, or whatever Nike shoe you have, or Adidas, um, all those new Adidas shoes are horrible for squats and deadlifts, but people seem to not get that. Basically what you're doing is pushing the force into that blue pad and it's dispersing rather than going directly into the ground if you were standing on something flatter sole or barefoot altogether. So my point is the flat sole is going to benefit you a ton and it's going to put the force that you're producing directly into the ground and basically make you stronger and also safer really because you're not going to have that wobbly feeling like you do when you're on something like this which is basically the exact same as running shoes or something like that. The point of running shoes are to literally cushion each impact on the ground. So if you're wearing that for something like squats, deadlifts, something where you're trying to produce force into the ground, you need that to have this minimal of room basically between that force where your foot is and where the ground is. So minimalist shoes and flat soles, at least a flat sole, but minimal will help too. So that's why sometimes you even people see people barefoot squatting or barefoot deadlifting um, if they don't have a flat sole. So slip those shoes off, it's gonna be okay, nobody will yell at you, hopefully your gym doesn't yell at you. Um, but yeah, lastly, before I go on here too long, Olympic lifting shoes. So why are these so important? So they kind of look like bowling shoes to a lot of you, I'm sure. So you see how this heel is slightly raised at the back? What that's going to do is for a lot of you who might have trouble full depth squatting without like a butt wink or any sort of problems um, with your form kind of collapsing when you get to a certain depth, this may help you because you may have some ankle mobility issues. It's not a given, but if you do have that, this may give you a better sort of stabilization um, into the ground and also, like I said, put you in a better position with your lack of mobility through your ankle um, because that heel is raised where you're able to get a better range of motion and a fuller range of motion, um, which has been shown to increase um, basically quad growth because you're getting a more, um, a greater activation through the quad itself when you have greater range of motion. So hopefully that makes sense and the same thing can be achieved if you kind of use your flat sole, like we were talking about, and put like a little bit of a five pound plate or even a 25 under your heel. That is kind of a, a poor man's way of going about it if you don't want to go the whole Olympic lifting shoe route, which is totally um, reasonable because they aren't cheap. Um, yeah, so that's kind of all I wanted to touch on in terms of the Olympic lifting shoe. One other thing I wanted to mention about that is Yes, the mobility is one thing that helps a ton, but for me, I have really good mobility. I can full depth squat in these, I'm fortunate enough, 
and I can have good form with these on, these flat. These, I personally just like more because they not only put me in a better position with my, like I said, ankle mobility, but they also just secure me into the ground more. So it gives me a better and more stabilized feel during the squat itself. So that's really why I wear them specifically. So you kind of kill two birds with one stone there. You just feel more stable um, and really like you can produce that force that you're generating right into the ground and really get the most out of um, the squat. So. Anyways, hopefully this helps guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you have any questions you'd like to see in a future Q&A, please leave them below. I love to hear your questions, guys. Um, and if you have any questions on the video itself or anything I mentioned, leave them below as well. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a good rest of your day, night, morning, whatever it is by you. And I'll see you very soon.